tracking so that people trying to sidestep this, sometimes it just doesn't work. It has way more tracking than it should have. It's so the tracking isn't mystery tracking. That's how you evade it. He commits to his axis very early in the jump. And look at that, you can just sidestep block. You don't even have to walk. A good player will be able to sidewalk that pretty well, but most of you are not playing against, you know, really, really good players. So I can like <laughs> Shit talk your chat. Yeah. Again, um, <laughs> I like that. Super most of you are not playing against decent players, so Ooh. I would have said the um, same thing. I would have said the exact same more. thing. Wait, main man, new video on Noctis? Oh shit, wait, we gotta watch that. We gotta watch that. Hold up, hold up. Pause the clown music. I wanna watch this. I actually don't think Noctis on Infinite is that good. Like, I'll only pick Infinite if I really think I can play, outplay the opponent in neutral. That's why I didn't pick Infinite against Mac. Forward two, down forward two. See, that's the thing. If you're dying to that, you don't know how to play against Noctis, and that's what I'm saying. Today. How do you oh, counter yeah. Noctis? You play in a good connection. So, Unironically. Please, uh, this is actually hype. Okay, so main man comes out with an eight minutes Noctis guide. I'm actually curious to see what he says, because, you know, he was the one that kind of put Noctis on the map. For better or for worse, like a lot of the attention came from how we played Noctis, right? Um, I wouldn't call myself a top player, but I'd say like, I think I understand a decent amount of Noctis. So let's look at what he has to say and see what happens. I'm really curious about this, actually. What's up, guys? Main man, sweet. And welcome to Noctis. Also, thank God for I think that's his name. Anyway, his eight minute guide. It's a pleasure to cover the church today. Oda. So, he's a very easy character. He's uh, mm. definitely part of a new gang of characters, like um, Catalina, for example, and Claudio to a large extent. Tekken 7 characters, unbelievably easy. Easy and, to execute, uh, totally easy to agree. Up, easy game plans. Easy to pick up, yeah. Easy game plan up. until you're on. against people who really know how to play against Noctis. Then I think his game plan isn't exactly complicated, but it's interesting, right? Warrior, uh, thanks to Ola like, and back two. How do you stress your opponent out to duck when they can react to down back two? and know that your mids are so much higher reward than down back three and down two, right? Very powerful stuff online. That's what I he think the like, uh, like mid-high-level meta game, game kind of stay, uh, far away, breaks down. With enormous swings on his right. Sword. Uh, longest effective range, but if you do get really what Cozy said. Him, it's just his game plan is good. to stress you out with lows until they have to stop you, then counter hit them or whiff punish. And the hard part is that unless you play the forward forward one plus two game really well, it's pretty hard. And I think someone who understands jabbing out of one, running one plus two, you need to be really clean with how you do forward forward one plus two. I think it's more complicated than people would think. He has tiny puny arms. Uh, tiny he doesn't puny. have tiny puny arms. And I, I just mentioned this to people who were just watching, but forward forward one, four, uh, I mean, uh, his jab and down forward one are really tiny good. Puny. He has one of the best jabs in the game. Like it doesn't get evaded by other people. His down forward one can go under people's That's and the range why. is decent. I'll never forgive Especially the because of the, uh, Especially because of the extensions and things like that. Down forward one two, down forward one four. Yeah, exactly. His down forward one is crazy good. Uh, tiny puny hentai arms, I guess. Hentai. Uh, yeah, it's just pretty lackluster in terms. They're really of not lackluster at all. I really disagree with that. So you know, if you pressure him like a siege tank, he crumbles pretty hard. Although he does have some gimmicky parries and all of that. So again, I don't see how the parry is gimmicky unless you're using it in a setup. I think it's really important being his only close range answer when he can't down jab. So like, if you're against a Huarang and you have a good read, it can really like stuff their pressure and stuff. Down forward one strings aren't a real mix up. The point of down forward one strings isn't to mix them up. The point is you buy time for your down forward one. So if you're down forward one and they're just blocking, you've bought time. If you down forward one and they're not blocking, you do a delayed down forward one four or down forward one two to catch a movement. It's to discourage action, which opens up time for your lows. But in reality, if you have them in a position where they're pressing into down forward 1-4 or down forward 1-2 already, you're already in the mental space you want to be at, right? Because once you get them to hesitate, that's where you can open up with down forward 1, back dash, with punish, etc. Struggles up close, super easy to play, quite cheap, especially if it lags. So let's yeah, he's pretty cheap if you don't know how to play against him. He's probably one of the worst people to play against if you don't know. Is there a comparable move in Kazuya's move list? Then it's a gimmicky move. I don't think Kazuya's... Gimmick, he's just cheap. He has so much good shit. It's not a gimmick. Like, gimmick implies that... Gimmick implies that if you know how to beat it, then it disappears. So, 2-2-2-2, two, 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 down back 2, are gimmicky. Down back 2, less as much, but still. Roll is gimmicky. If you know how to beat it, it goes away. That's what I would define as a gimmick. 2, pass 1, huge launcher. Minus 16 on block with enormous pushback. A lot of characters can't punish this. 
uh, after nerfing it due to me spamming this for about two years they made it so that it is steppable now so if you're up close you can sidestep it but a lot of people don't sidestep beginner and intermediates this move is overpowered against them even high crushes at the start of this when he ducks down it's a pretty stupid attack to be honest overall uh so you can spam that I think down back 1 plus 2 becomes a part of his game plan when you have done enough full crouch so that the uh, the delayed timing of the low and the animation of you going down in, in triggers a duck response. But I don't think that's going to carry over offline very well. That's just how I hit it online. So I think, yeah, like Cozy Lord says, you use it as a pseudo backsway, right? Like you're catching people coming in sloppily. You're catching their keep out being sloppy, right? Like if they try to one two jab or something um or you hard call out like a duck those are like i think the three situations that it actually is good sidewalk right roll if you have a generic down four use that or jump so noctis has to sidewalk right because his jump sucks and his down four doesn't work if it's not punished most people don't punish it or step it if you do want to sidestep upward four is a another high level thing or medium high level is like a down back one plus two if you do it up close people will probably know their punishes for it if it exists so that sucks. And then at the range where you would want to use it near like mid tip range, uh, where it's unpunishable is where you can hit the issue where they can backdash it and then whiff punish you because the recovery is so long. So I think it's it's a stupid move, but I don't think it's unfair. It just feels really bad to get hit by, especially online. Up forward four is interesting, too, because they have to be side walking, you know? They have to be sidewalking. And the interesting thing about that is that the only way you can really get a, someone to sidewalk against an Octus, in my experience, is doing 2-2 two, two and making them sidewalk left to get away from it. Because if they're sidestepping down forward 1 or down forward 4, they're doing a quick step into like trying to down forward 2 you or something, right? So nobody's really walk And forward forward 1 plus 2 is too scary. So nobody's really walking against an Octus unless they're hard reading a 2-2. Two, two. And that's the only time I would use up forward 4. It's also a funny like keep out move like some people will use it like as like a range two like up forward four like straight up as like keep out or something and if you clip somebody with it that's pretty like free damage right so, but it's pretty hard to use i would say unless you're really good at determining when your opponent's trying to walk to two it's also safe on block and fast Minus the safety is nice block, so you're free to do anything that's a good mix right there you can mix with down back two uh for people you know who's just blocking your aura uh, down back two hits from super far away not that's something i hadn't considered though if I do down back 1 plus 2 enough so that people sidestep it, which isn't common, using up forward 4, interesting now, idea. Try to stand up again. Forward 1 plus 2 will clip them for huge damage. Uh, offline, this move is very reactable at 24 frames. Offline, most people can block this. It's yeah. very well within average reaction time. Online, you probably won't be able to react. Even on a 5 bar, there's a delay. On a 4 bar, this is... Yeah. On a 4 bar, it's a knockdown hatchet kick. <laughs> Not Heiachi forward forward 2. Not the only move is type in the game. Up forward four's range isn't good enough. Yeah, exactly. It's like range zero. They have to be stepping your two two or something. So that's the thing is like Noctis incentivizes you to play at mid range. If you look at his mids, right? His mids are so strong. Um, but his uh, his lows being so close, his tracking moves being close, except for forward four one plus two, but like up forward four down back three. Uh, it's an interesting conundrum. Like you have to be really disciplined, I think, to play him well at a higher level. Because at mid low level, you can get away with just playing at range fifteen. But at high level, you have to be scary enough up close that they're willing to deal with you. So I think that's a hump I have to get over to. Uh, it's just very, very annoying to deal with. So brain dead, knock this, you can go aura, upward four, or it's honestly pretty viable against most opponents. Easy to do. Uh, four, two from far away. Try to catch them off guard with your effective range. Minus nine on block, making it safe. Watch out for people who step that. While running one plus two, another. So yeah, he covers it kind of quickly, but I think it's really understated how steppable forward two is and how punishable Welcome even an attempt is against a competent Kirby. player. Noctis so like, loses Noctis a Noctis, loses an opponent who understands Noctis, Get ready um, will see every forward two as an opportunity. Because Noctis is fully minus nine, doesn't have a down jab, doesn't have a down four, the only thing he can do is maybe parry. But it won't parry a jab. So Noctis will have to hard commit to outplay something and basically has to eat a mix up. So I'll show this here real quick. Well, actually, let me go to my practice mode scene. Woo, look at that. All right, so if Noctis does forward two, I'm not even gonna put in like a, a jab or anything. I'll just put it at random timing. 
and you can basically hey what up just you can basically sidestep it like passively with a baby sidestep in neutral and just completely avoid it so even if you're like autopilot sidestepping you might accidentally get around it and if you end up blocking it you can mix him up as soon as he gets in your face because he's range zero against you which sucks see how my step was so far in advance because he's really winding up the move earlier, it loses tracking quickly. So early steps benefit a lot. So he mentioned, main, lamp, main man mentioned it briefly, but it's so steppable. It's to the point where I almost never use this move unless I'm actually at like this range, which is kind of funny, right? Because you would think at this range, you could just 2-2, two, two, you could down back 1 plus 2. But the reason I use it around this range, I actually saw Monstier do it in ICFC Season 2, Week 2, I think, something like that. He was a guy who showed up and played Noctis like twice and got fifth and almost beat Cuddlecore. But what he was doing, he was doing forward two at like this range to catch a dash block. Right? Which is interesting because you could just 2-2. Two -two, but it was just outside of that range. And a person can dash block react to this. But this comes out just fast enough. At range 3, yeah, and if you if they sidestep at this range, then the roll can possibly evade, right? I'm so bad. Like that. So, like, it creates an interesting scenario. So I think it's un, unexplored. But Main Man kind of covers it briefly. But I think it's less as stupid of a move as people think for the way Noctis use it. Because if you dash block and sidestep block... It's really easy to shut down. And you should be doing that anyways against running 1 plus 2. If Noctis is doing uh, running 1 plus 2 like this, first you should jab him out of it if you can, right? But if you do like tiny sidesteps like that, look at how easy he evades it. See that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> you can see how a tiny sidestep completely evades it. Especially if you step to the right. It's like very, very, um... It's the same sidestep timing you would use against forward two. Just like a little baby sidestep into a block. Right? So, it's the same counterplay for both. So, let's see what he says. Safe. Watch out for people who step fast. Yeah, because it, it's safe, but the situation is so controlled. Like long, long block stun animation so the opponent can prepare a mix-up or like prepare a response. So the Noctis player has to be pretty mentally present to not get punished for going minus nine. Like punished, right? Like I'll do stuff like a... Uh, I'll do stuff like forward two into low parry. Like that or something, you know? So... Oh, sorry, I didn't show. I'll do stuff like where I do forward two into low parry. Because I'm reading, like, they'll go for a low mix or a low poke or something. So, yeah. Let's see what he says about running 1 plus 2. Because I think, yeah, Cozy has a really good point. Like, uh, the plus 11 is not, uh, like, obnoxious. But it's, in the grand scheme, patience will win out. So let's see what he says. Running 1 plus 2, another unbelievably dumb attack. Check out this range, please. Oh, hmm, almost looks pretty bullshit. And this actually retains the old aura tracking, so that people trying to sidestep this, sometimes it just doesn't work. It has way more tracking than it should have, considering the range, how much it hurts, uh, on block. It's... So the tracking isn't mystery tracking. See you, Fezenex. Uh, the tracking is not a mystery. The tracking is very clear, right? So, as I demonstrated, at max range, at, at that tip range he was demonstrating, a baby sidestep will just completely evade it. The mystery, though, is you have to be sidestepping before the sword materializes. So if you step... If you step before his sword comes out, that's how you evade it. But once the sword is in the air, it'll start tracking. What's up, Bongo? See that? Like, once he's swinging the sword, it will start tracking. He he commits to his axis very early in the jump. But the hitbox is still huge. So you just have to be sidestepping preemptively. Like, very preemptively. 
See, that's too late. So instead, it's better to just do like little baby sidesteps as if you were trying to avoid forward two and you will just avoid it at a time that you don't expect. Also, another reason, yeah, Noctis uses running one plus two predictably. And the reason is what other threat exists at this range? Only forward two. There's nothing else that can hit you at this range. So either just stand block or do nothing. What is Noctis going to hit you with here? Forward four, one plus two can't even stop you at this range. Yeah. So of course Noctis is going to do it here. And look at that. You can just sidestep block. You don't even have to walk. So it's annoying online. I can see why main man is pissed, but that's not um, an accurate representation of it. But then again, like there are not many Noctis specialists, so it's hard to know. The only way that forward forward one plus two consistently hits you is on um on a tech roll situation that's where it has the magic tracking so if i do this down back three and then that let's see if i can get that see like you can't step it so down back three hits i tech roll and i tried to step it's not gonna work you can't do it on wake up uh, i'll switch sides so you can see that it's not just one directional that you see that so again in the mid high level meta what people will understand is that if noctis hits you and you just tech rolled they won't step they'll do either a mini step block or nothing you can't beat most muttering moves on wake up exactly so that's like a standard thing uh for um anti-noctis plus 11 <laughs> Right. This move is really dumb. So here's you where he mentions running, plus 11. You spam this over and over from far away. It's just so annoying. And people will try to sidewalk your forward too. So yeah, just, just throw this. A good player will be able to sidewalk that pretty well, but most of you are not playing against, you know, really, really good players. So you can like <laughs> Shit talk your chat. Yeah. Again, <laughs> most of you are not playing against... I like that. Most of you are not playing against decent players, so you're fucked. Cheap, I love that. Move. I would have said the same um, thing. I would have said the exact same thing. Really good attacks, but not I would have said the exact same thing. You guys say he's a dickhead? I disagree. I would have said the exact same thing. This is what you guys should do to beat it, but you guys are never going to do it. <laughs> exact same thing I would have said. So here's another thing. Um, so what was he saying? He was saying people will sidewalk it. Yes, but you don't want to sidewalk it. You want a sidestep block. It helps in every Noctis situation to have a tight sidestep block. Um, and then what was he saying? Plus 11. So this is what Cozy was talking about for a while. I know, right? People say he's toxic? Nah, dude. He got it down. Here's the reason why running 1 plus 2 being plus 11 is not that big of a deal. So, at this spacing, Noctis has minimal threats. Down back 3 hits, right? So he has a basic mid-low, but he's not gonna knock you down. And down back 2, again, offline, down back 2 reactable if I'm not the defender, right? <laughs> so, nothing can hit you here. If you backdash, you avoid down back three. Down two will clip at the tip. Demo man completely whiffs, right? So the only thing he can hit you with is the frame trap forward forward one plus two, which if you just block does nothing. Two two to catch you stepping, which if you block does nothing. Etc. right? So you, you kind of see the point, right? Like there's no... Oops. Oh my god, I'm bad. Like down forward one hits, right? But really at this range, there's not a lot that's scary. And as this especially carries over if you do what he was saying, hitting at tip range. What are you going to mix them with here? Wow, it was plus 12. I didn't even know I could get that tip range hitbox. Like here at this range, this just whiffs. And if Noctis is in your face doing it, he loses to jabs because the the sword actually comes out pretty late unlike dragonov's running two where the where the the punch comes out a bit sooner so you can get counter hit for jabbing it it's pretty reliable to jab knocks out of this you can apply the mental frame advantage and dash demo man. so in response to that let me challenge you with this Right? So, 
you are vulnerable to... So the, the, the real scary thing after this, the scariest situation you can run into is this. Because that, when done frame perfectly, will beat everything. Like, it, that shouldn't even work. But I'm bad, right? So, when done frame perfectly, you can get fucked up for like anything. I'm jabbing here. So, what the opponent can do is just understand that that's the threat. Stand block. Now you're minus nine, okay? Now that you're minus nine, th it's their turn completely. So all Noctis can do there is commit to a duck or low parry or parry, right? So, it's plus 11 asterisk. <laughs> Because at this range, the only thing he can threaten with is forward, forward, one plus two, which ends his turn. So the scariest thing he can do out of running one plus two is nothing, which makes you guess more. Or run in this and chip damage them. But all of that costs time. So nothing is happening. Like, uh, Cozy Lord mentioned this earlier. When Devil Jin goes plus four at Hell Sweep, it's a different situation because he's um, point blank, right? So look at this. You're left standing in their face. So down forward one will beat down jab attempts, right? So this is a true frame trap. This is Noctis's forward forward one plus two in this situation, right? He can catch you doing something slow. Like if you try to down forward, if you try to 12 frame check him or something, this is counter hit launcher. Um, if you hesitate, he has this again to mix into this, which happens a lot at the wall. And then, yeah, just because you block this, you can keep going. So, the Hell Sweep is actually, even though it's only plus four, is actually so much stronger than Noctis is running one plus two. What running one plus two is good at is it's probably Noctis's best low crush. Anyways, let's keep watching this video. I want to see more. So, gimmick online game plan, four foot one plus two, minus nine on block. Or not, so gimmick online game plan. Four foot one okay, so he raises a good point. Four four one plus two is less of a gimmicky move. It's just straight up good. Final block. Long range counter at mid. Uh, launcher. Can step down forward two. Oh, wow. As Devil Jin. So clarify. If, as Devil Jin, if you don't want to commit to forward one plus two for whatever reason, you can back forward two to check. That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> That's gross. So he can check you pressing and stepping with one move. So he doesn't have to choose. We're down forward four. The only justification I can think of is extension threat, but even so, this has an extension threat as well. Alright, anyways, this isn't a Devil Jin video, this is a Noctis reaction video, okay? So let's see. What did Mayman just talk about? He talked about forward forward one plus two. With this. Again, down forward one plus two will pick up. It's just super cheap, that move. Um, and then so, for some of the more really good attacks that are not so gimmick online game plan, forward foot one plus two, minus nine on block, long range counter at mid, uh, launcher, you lose your turn, but uh, it's just super long range. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you lose your turn, which is, against a good player, they'll know how to use. Um, I don't know how to play against that very well. Like, I know how, but like, I don't do it. It's not ingrained. Super long range, no, very tight. Uh, really great move. Um, upward four, we've come. Understated. But forward forward 1 plus 2, yeah, it's, I'm playing at 1.25. Understated, but forward forward 1 plus 2 synergizes with running 1 plus 2 so well. Because the counters to running 1 plus 2 are jab and, uh, jab and, uh, sidestep, right? So forward forward 1 plus 2 covers both of those because you can evade jab and counter hit. Or you can catch the sidestep. The problem is that requires you to do running 1 plus 2 at a range closer than the tip range. Because at the tip range, forward forward 1 plus 2 isn't a threat. Right? Like, uh... At this range, forward forward 1 plus 2 is not as much of a threat. So, like, if I hit him at tip range there, there's no universe where this hits. I would have to deep dash, and even then, it's like, it turns into a run. So, the mix-up is only strong at, like, this range, where they can jab you out of it, and then you can get a counter hit going like that. So, just a small nuance there. Covered down for one, uh, puny arms, pretty puny range. But when you are up close, it beats almost all jabs. So if even even in frame disadvantage, you know you can down for one and it can beat a lot of jabs. That is a really strong point. It I don't think it beats a lot of jabs, but it does beat Mishima's, not Kazumi. I don't know if it still beats Heihachi's after the buff. I think it should. Let me check. It beats a lot of jabs though. Uh, Dragonovs. 
Um, let me see if it can beat Heihachi's new jab. I think it can. I don't think they lowered the hitbox. I think they just increased the range. Bakumram, yeah, Marduk, the tall characters. Yeah, it still goes under. It still goes under. Um, okay. So yeah, that's a good point. And uh, I don't think he mentioned the extensions, but let's see. It's pretty, that's pretty cheap. Up forward one. Yeah, he didn't mention the extensions. So a reason Noctis' down forward one is actually so strong is because it has the standard down forward one properties. The ability to kind of go for this. And uh, if they block it and press, you cover a few more options. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Thanks, you guys. So what I was saying, uh, understated is that... <sighs> Alright, <laughs> Jesus. Novice streamer. Okay, so uh, the reason Noctis' is down forward one is so good is because it has the, the standard down forward one properties. So even though it has an extension, it's minus one on block. And uh, you can use this to catch someone who like preemptively steps or presses, which against Noctis, you're often waiting for the Noctis to stop doing stuff. Either because they're minus nine or because they're um, at... Uh, in a situation where they just are trying to reset or understand what you're doing. So a lot of that will happen if you spam a lot of down forward one and just stop. People will try to like take action whether by moving or pressing or like trying to impose their turn. And that's when these delays become really obnoxious. They allow you to like stay in your opponent's head, keep the pressure up and stuff. But yeah, so down forward one on Noctis is actually really, really good. It's super good. I need to use it better. 13 frame counter launcher. Up forward one is really strong. Minus one on block. It's got pretty decent range. Uh, it's a very, very strong keep out tool, or just overall counter tool. Very good. And you can spam that. And in a full crouch, if you don't want to go with group, a safer lowest full crouch down for two. Yeah, so yeah, he's nice covering advantage. Noctis' like solid moves. Can be low parry. Minus 14 on block, counter hit, Kablam. Mix that with safe full crouch down for one. Knockdown mid. They don't take the knockdown, you get a spear. Uh, yeah, and then uh, down back one, one plus two. Minus five, completely safe strength. And delay, one plus two. So it's a very nice poking string. At minus five, you can set up parries on block. Yeah, it's a super good poking string. To press. Um, mashing with two button is actually viable. Uh, minus 14 if you end it, but you can stop at mid, mid, high, high for first hits. If you try to duck the third hit, forward two to do a mid. This, that mid is, by the way, a counter hit launcher. If you try to do anything like a while stunning launcher to punish you. Viable, uh, one plus two, infinite range, roaming move. Minus 14 on block, it can be canceled into minus nine. First hit alone, it's really cool. I like to use uh, that as a kill Evil move. Man, uh, high damage low. Because it's like max range homing. 222 mentions, yeah, it doesn't talk about 2242, doesn't talk about uh, while standing 1 2. While standing 1 2, induce hesitation because of the extension. Just mash it out. Um, needs to be very close, however. So it's, uh, it's really good after a wall combat to the wall. I check. Why is it called Emo Man? Yeah. <laughs> Noctis is emo, apparently. Uh, 2242 as mid check. Yeah, it's not the mid check, it's the button check. It's not the... 22 isn't the mix for... Sorry, I'm playing the wrong character. Uh, 2242 isn't the mix for this. I mean, it is, but it's not. The The, the power is if you just 2 2 over and over again, and you keep going minus 9, and your opponent gets frustrated, and then you hit them with that. So it's like, he's minus 9, and then I want to jab him, and then I die. That's the point. That's what it's good for. Uh, sidestep 2 is a good move. Neutral on block. Sidestep 2 is good. I need to figure out how to use it better. Because the zero crouch situation means theoretically your opponent can just wall standing for you out of almost everything. But understanding that as a conditioning tool and understanding uh, creating whiffs with it and stuff is something I need to get. Um, can you sidestep 2 2 4 2? Chloe, Cooney, and Xiaoyu can. Undelayed. Otherwise, no. And lay depending on his idle stance. Sidestep 2 when they're grounded is also good. Five. Um, okay, well, the yeah. follow up is down back one plus two, but that's minor. And, and another great thing about Noctis is it's down for two. It's almost infinite range. So, for example, if I block a uh, Heiachi four for two, that's always. Noctis can sidestep right duck Mishima while standing four and full crouch on Yeah, so conditioning game, right? If you can get them to press it and then take advantage of it. Two two is a linear move. It's not. It tracks sidestep right and loses to sidewalk left. Two two is not a linear move. You have to sidewalk it left. 
Nick. It's the longest range now we're to win the game. It's yep. almost busted. Uh, as a with punish or block punish, minus 15, best in the game. Uh, so yeah, and punishments, 10 frame, 1, 2, 2, 12 frame, back 1, 2, 14 frame, down for 1, 2, 15 frame, down for 2. Uh, I'm also. glad he skipped the 14 frames because back 3, 1 is horrible. So I think down forward 1, 2 should take the place of it every time. And back 2 is whatever. So I I, I like his pun choice of covering punishes. Stunning, 11 frame while stunning 4, 13 frame while stunning 1, 2, 15 frame while stunning 2, 2. Hope you got that. Um, <laughs> so how do you counter Noctis? You play on a good connection, so you can block down for 2. You can <laughs> True. sidewalk uh, Aura and all of that and punish it. You don't want to sidewalk, you want to sidestep block, but we already talked about that. On block. Uh, on a good connection, try to learn to block this on reaction. It's going to help a lot. Yes. Uh, he's very steppable up close, uh, except for upward 4 as a counter launcher. But don't be afraid to sidewalk. And knock this and stay very close to him. Far away, it's really his game. Stay close to the siege tank and keep sidewalking. Keep pressuring him. He does have some gimmicky parries, but uh, nothing really super disgusting. Uh, and he doesn't have dig jabs, so he's just very weak to pressure uh, overall. So, again, how do you play knock this? Just cheese. So, he talked about staying up close to Noctis. I think there are two powerful approaches to beating Noctis. I think the obvious one, yeah, is up close. Beat him in the range one game if you're better than him, which if you're playing against a Noctis player, you're probably better than him at the range one game or range zero game. Just by the nature of how Noctis plays. Um, the second is actually patiently stand blocking and keeping out Noctis. Uh, in my sets with Mac, a lot of it went to infinite and he would just backdash and time me out every time. Noctis trying to make a comeback without access to down back two is really hard. Um, I want to see if he mentions Rage Drive, but we'll see. With, uh, with his super brain dead 50-50, most people can't react to it, especially on a connection that's not optimal. Uh, you do have a lot of good moves to try and mix it up with, like legit good moves. Uh, but yeah. yeah, but she's with while running 1-2, forward 2, down back 2, aura, this is very powerful. So start out with that and then build on. With his more reliable tools you know what's funny is he suggests this and like as a teacher i probably wouldn't suggest it but that's how i learned i got to tgp just doing running one plus two forward four one plus two and stuff like this and then i added on the good stuff so i wouldn't recommend it but it's funny that that works fundamental tools um so yeah i think i hope you have a good understanding of like how to play and cheese with noctis and how to try and counter him Again, really good back here with these over the top attacks with his Buster Sword. But if you get up close, uh, puny man, puny man, destroy him. So that's not this in eight minutes. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. It's not, it's not that bad of a video, honestly. I think he covered a lot of stuff pretty fairly. He covers what is good and what is cheese. I think the only thing that was kind of whack was like, uh, what's up, guys? Main mounds rushing over two two four two. And the 2 2 minus 9 metagame, which is hard to cover in 8 minutes. Um, his jab and down forward 1 are really good. I thought that was a bit of misinformation. But then again, it's no Heihachi jab, right? So that's fair. Um, he covered the down forward 1 crushing, which is pretty good. Up forward 4 is good. Um, yeah, and then he talked about sidewalking, but I think sidestep block is much better. Sidestep block is so much stronger. Against Noctis. Yeah, I thought that was pretty good. I thought that was a pretty fair explanation. Hopefully I covered on some extra stuff, but...